Hello, dragons. My name is Max, and I run O'Donnell Moonshine's Birds and Liqueurs based in Manchester. Today, I am asking for £200,000 in return for 5% equity. You may ask yourself, what is Moonshine? Moonshine originated during the US Prohibition era in the 1920s, when the actual alcohol production was illegal. And we at O'Donnell Moonshine re revived this concept. We offer our customers a unique drinking experience consisting of new yet recognizable flavored spirits bottled in stylish mason jars and surround the entire product by the exciting stories of the infamous US Prohibition era. And now we're probably coming to the best part of the pitch where you can get to try the product and I'm more than happy to take any of your questions and thank you very much for your time. Sorry, did you just pour it in there and drink from that? Yeah, just neat over ice. Or yeah. you can just bring that up. You can also go that way, Peter. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. It's quite strong. Oh, wow. It's 25%. <laughs> That's some serious shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you give me some numbers? Yeah, sure. So, 2018, 1.18 million turnover with a £200,000 loss. 2019, 1.38 million turnover with a net profit of £20,000. 2020, £993,000 turnover with break even. So, 2021. We're looking at 2.5 million net turnover. So how much have you done up to now? We've done 500,000. So you've done roughly. 500 up to now in six months and you're gonna to go to do another 2 million? Correct. That's to do with the fact of how our business works. We're basically doing 60 to 70% of our entire year's turnover in the second half of the year, being in Christmas markets, Christmas period, because it is a very giftable item. I actually think this is really clever, very simple. That top with a spout. I've not seen anything like this before. It's nice, I like it. I do like the concept. OK. How, how much money have you put into the business? So I joined the company last year. There's two business partners which cannot be here. They're based in Germany. They're also in the business. How much money has been invested? So basically, in the UK Limited, we have £25,000, which is invested by the parent company, which owns 95%, and I own 5%. OK, so you own 5% of the UK business yes. that you're selling. Yeah. But the offer for investment today is in the big company, isn't no, it? No, it's in the UK company. What? How big is the business? In Germany. In Germany. So the Germans turned over last year 7.3 million with a 2.1 million net. I want to be in that business. Where's it being brewed? We bottle it in Germany at the moment. We are currently looking to move the bottling to the UK because we do hit that critical size where it makes sense. Any loans in the business? Yes, so we have a £50,000 bounce back loan from last year. And then we basically have uh, outstanding invoices for products of around about £590,000. And they're also put in loans of £230,000 uh, from the parent company. So £870,000 worth of loans. Yeah. And we're not making any money yet, is that no. right? What I find amazing is that you come in here with a business that has a million euros in debt. Correct? That's correct. True. Yeah. It is overvalued, over indebted. I just think that there's, there's too many question marks, too many doubts, and too much crystal ball. So, on that basis, I'm not going to invest them out. If I do one post on my Instagram, I'm, I'm reaching 25% of people who are in India, in Germany, and Taiwan. Yeah. So, as an investor, you're only offering me um, the returns on one market but I'm doing the marketing work for all markets, which is gonna help the German business as well, which I don't own. I'd be putting in tons of effort and only being cut off a small slice of the return on my effort. And I actually don't think that's fair. So for that reason, yeah, I'm out. I would have potentially been an investor here, but it's very, very difficult now to invest in a business in the UK of which you're a 5% shareholder and I can't even speak to or meet the owners of the company. So sadly, I'm going to have to say, Max, I'm out. There's a reason I don't ask for majority shareholdings. Mm -hmm. And that's because I want the person that I'm investing in who actually runs this business to have a big chunk of that business. So they are totally focused on making money. Yep. So it's the structure that worries me. You've made it impossible for me to invest. I'm out. The thing I'm struggling to get past is the fact that you are currently sitting on £870,000 worth of debt with that valuation. So that's the reason why. 
I'm not going to invest. I'm sorry, Max. Great business, but I'm out. Good luck, Max. Good luck, Thank Max. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Take care.